All right, in the following question here, we want to solve the following radical equation. This is from a math Olympiad, and we want to solve for x here. You'll notice here this is to the power of a half, and this is to the power of a third. So we're going to go ahead and raise both sides of this equation to the power of 6, giving us. And you end up seeing here, because the on the left-hand side it was to the power of a half, we raise it to the power of 6, we get a power of 3. And likewise, we get a power of 2 on the right-hand side. I'm going to go ahead and expand out the left-hand side and simplify which will result in, I end up getting 4 plus 4 plus x times the root of 1 plus x plus 3x is equal to x squared. What we're going to do here is we're going to try to isolate for the root of 1 plus x. So first we're going to bring over the 4 and the 3x, which will be 4 plus x times the root of 1 plus x. And on the right hand side we have a quadratic here. You'll see this factors nicely as well. Again, I'm looking to solve for the root of 1 plus x, so I'm going to divide out this 4 plus x, giving us. Now that I've isolated for the root of 1 plus x, I can go ahead and square both sides. Now that I've squared both sides, I'm going to go ahead and factor the numerator. You'll see here, now that we've factored the numerator here, we end up getting some cancellation going on between these two expressions. Now I'm going to bring everything to the top by multiplying across by x plus 4 squared. I went ahead and multiplied across by x plus 4 squared. I also expanded this out, so x plus 4 squared, you'll see you square the first, first times second times 2, and square the last. I did the same thing here. I'm going to go ahead and expand out the right-hand side of this. Now I've expanded out the right-hand side. We can go ahead and bring everything to one side and simplify, resulting in. So if you bring everything to one side of the equation, we get a lot of the cancellation. We end up getting x cubed minus 8x squared. I can go ahead and factor out the x squared here, giving us. And now you can see here we have two possible roots. One is going to be 0 or 8. Because we did square both sides of the equation, we now have to check for extraneous roots. So we have to check both of these solutions into our original equation. And doing a quick check here, you'll see if I check this one, x equals 0, we sub in. This is the left-hand side of the equation. This is the right-hand side. Subbing this in here, I end up getting a root of 2 on the left and 0 on the right, so x equals 0 is not a solution. However, checking for x equals 8, you'll see here that if I check on the left-hand side, I end up getting 2, and the right-hand side, I get 2 as well. So we have the solution to this equation is x is equal to 8.